Hi there, and welcome to Lineage 2. Uh, I recently played Ion, which is going free, free to play soon in January in Europe. So I thought I would give this game a go because this game is already free to play it, and it's also made by NCSoft, the people who make Ion. Anyway, I'm going to call my character as called as always. I am going to make my character, let me see, race, human. <clears throat> Humans were created by Grand Cain, but they worship Eden Hazard, the goddess of light. Combat. Okay. Let me see. Walk, dark elf, elf, dwarf. What should I be? This one's good. They worship Soul Master. What's the difference between an elf and a dark elf? Okay, I might go for a regular elf. Decided about what I'm going to be dwarf, crafting, yeah, whatever. Walk. What the hell? Strength, stamina. Okay, powerful warriors. Fighter. Oh, you know what? I quite like this system. I just, I'm not a big fan of massive, crazy ears. Let's be an orc, shall we? I can find some hair that looks half decent. Yeah, that looks okay. Not too shabby. Okay, let's stick with that hair color. Let's, let's stick with so I'm going to go with a, a fighter character, you know, create, would you like to generate a new character like the current kind of settings purpose? Okay, so let's see how this goes. Whoa, wow. Okay, start. This character is kind of hardcore looking. I kind of like playing like a melee style character, but the problem is a lot. Of MMOs seem to make the mages very, very powerful or something, you know, and all, you know, so we'll see how it goes. But the idea of this video is just to show you the start of the game, <coughs> to give you an idea what the start of the game is. Okay, what just happened? I am the great darkness. I will bring destruction to this world. It is my fate. My children of darkness, give me your beautiful deaths as sacrifice to me. They will make the gathering shadows grow across the land. I will spy on the world through those shadows. My darkness will creep out and sicken the world like a plague. Then I will reclaim the power I once lost to the light. Each small sacrifice to me builds on another, bringing the great death in the end. On 
the day the sacrifices are complete, I will be reborn, bringing eternal death to this world. I see. Nice plan. Oh, we have a rotating character. That must be because I've got my Xbox 360 controller plugged in. Or it might also be because I've got my steering wheel plugged in. So let's just do that. Let's just unplug that. Ah, yes, it was my steering wheel. Okay, fixed. Okay, matching party. Stop. We don't really want a matching party now. Somehow I'm in the chat. I want to be in the chat. I want to move around, not be in the chat. We are inside the museum in Talking Island Village. It seems that Curator Panther would like to speak with you. I will tell you how to use the mouse to move to Panther to speak with you. First, you will learn how to move around in the game. To move your oh, character seriously? from place to place, Move your mouse no, cursor no, no, no. to the spot you want to move to, out. and left click. A question mark icon it appears try. when there is something important you should know. Click the question mark when it appears to read the information. What? Right, the controls are weird. Because why am I in the chat all the time? Is that how I move? By clicking? Really? Uh, seems like the cursor keys do something, but the way it moves is kind of strange to me. Hmm, okay, so it's, do I need to talk to this guy? Wow. This game is kind of lagging. The game is kind of lagging quite a lot. That's it. Let's just run about a bit. I'm not sure that I like the way that you move. You're kind of not using... What's the keys you're moving with the mouse, as you can see. I'm not sure I like that. Right, I do I need to talk to you? Why is it always in the chat, like permanently in the chat? I don't like that either. Quest. So who do I need to talk to again? I imagine there's someone over here, right? Yeah, already I'm Ask me anything you need to know. Quest. Let's go to Central Square. Welcome to the newly reconstructed Talk Line Bay. It only took a few months for us to get to where we are now. It must be hard to get started in a town that is not home. Fear not, you are not alone. Adventures of ways to start the journey here in Talk Line Village. If you want, I can help you get familiar with your surroundings. Okay, 
so he's, I think it's giving me a quest. I, I'm hoping that the lag is just because I'm in the starting area. Like I said, I'm, I'm not sure that I like the way the controls are set up. It feels kind of annoying. You can't just, you know, you're like clicking in this way. It's kind of graphics seem okay. I mean, it's quite an old game, but it's lagging for me like real bad. You can see, like, we're getting some real bad lag. Wow, the game can hardly play. This is like a slideshow right now. How strange. What was that all about? I don't even know what that was about. It showed me something, I don't know. Okay. Let me look at the graphical options. I mean, I've got, a, I have like a good computer, so I'm pretty sure that I should be able to run this game easily. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not my computer. Okay, so I think it's. Hey, did you speak? And yes, I did. So, tell him, I think it's telling me to go over here, there's like a beam of light. Going over here. Well... I'm not sure I like the control, like I said. It doesn't feel good. Is there any way of changing that? Let's see. Controls? Anything about controls? No? So you can't change the controls. Have to use this system of like, yeah. Because basically, I have to like click where I want it to go, and it, it is so laggy. It is so laggy. Like seriously, this is really laggy. I was wondering about the Prince of the Giants. Can you tell me about that quest? Let's go to the following Ah, I see. Panther has sent me the last week on the migration releases. Okay. Okay. So now where do I go? Okay. Is he going to give me a quest now? Ranger, but you must first get certified. Certi okay, so basically, this, this is some kind of training thing I need to do. So go over here, and do some training. Okay, so I'm slowly getting the hang of this game. Slowly now. Is she going to be in the game? I think. No. Where is she now? Oh, hang on. Do I need to go around? Why is there a ah? Theodore said to go to see Shannon. Find Shannon. Okay, I'm hoping where the thing is. Now, if I just hold the mouse. No, I was thinking if I if I hold the mouse, click and hold it, and then it would allow me to kind of move on the fly, but no, not really. Okay, so let's go find Shannon. Go training camp now. <clears throat> if anyone has any idea how to change the controls, like use the WASD keys, please can you let me know in the chat of the video because at the moment this is annoying. Having to use the mouse. I still don't know 
have to go back. I keep having to close and reopen. Quest. Searching for the mysterious power. Okay, well guess what I can help that's right. Head down the hill until you see a vein. Okay. Like I said, I'm finding this the controls annoying because I have to keep clicking where I want my character to go. It's just not very nice. When you're kind of used to using plastic keys, it's not very intuitive. Is this the woman that I need to talk to? Oh yeah, it's definitely better than what I was using. Okay, 
so he gave me something. Now I need to go and work out how to go over there. See, this is why this system is annoying. Like clicking and it kind of getting stuck a lot. Okay, let's go. I believe I need to go over here somewhere. Let's try going down here. It's not as laggy anymore. I, don't, I really don't like the control system. I hope there's a way of me fixing this. Because seriously, the control system is annoying me now. Okay. Move to the training grounds. Okay, so I need to kill some stuff. Okay, this should be interesting. Find my own husk cores. Not what other people are attacking. There's a lot of people who are playing this game, obviously because it's you know because it's a free game and everything, maybe. These guys are going to be kind of annoyed. I don't know who's going to be able to loot what. It's kind of weird. How many of I? How many of these have I actually, actually killed so far? I'm assuming this is actually a player. Is it? Is this actually a player? This is not. I mean, it's not showing me a player's name. So is it not a player then? Okay. Maybe they're just other like soldiers that I'm supposed to be helping or players. I I thought that they were players, but actually thinking about it, they all look exactly the same though. So yeah, okay. I think I'm just supposed to be helping now. So. Okay, speak with the guards. Maybe I'm I mean, I might get used to the control system in this game. You know, but it's kind of annoying me right now. In fact, you have to like click on the ground where you want to go. Okay, soul shot and spirit shot. Soul shot and spirit shot are items that allow you to boost attack power and magic power instantly. You can use you can use shot automatically by dragging this item to the shortcut bar. Okay, soul shot and spirit shot. When you attack using Soul Shot and Spirit Shot, you are powerful. There are many different Soul Shots depending on the item grade. You may purchase from them from the store or obtain them through crafting. Okay. So, Garb was nice enough to give you some free Soul Shot. Follow the directions on how to put it you. Okay, so, I believe if I go to my inventory. bar has been put somewhere strange, let's move the bar later. Okay, so anything else I need to drag? Money, arrows, scroll, training gloves, do I, can I just do that? I, you know what, I'm just going to use the sword anyway, aren't I, so let's forget that. What's an adventurous staff? Is this for magic? I don't, really, don't want to use magic really. Trying to do this like a melee kind of character. Okay, so I now have the soul shots. Okay, so. Power of a high level spin. Okay. Yeah, I've already done that, right? Yes. Finished. Okay, get my soul shots. Well, it's now on cooldown, unfortunately, because I spaced 
I was testing it. I like how you can just double click on things and you can attack them. That's kind of cool. Is my self shot available? What? Is it still available? I'm not sure. Let's get a bit closer. Ah, do I left click on it? Right click. Why was that, did that even do anything? Ah, so if you go like that, the soul shot is on all the time. I get it now. Why? I think I do anyway. You can basically toggle it on and off automatically. Okay. I like the way that all of the loot is just hanging in the air like this. And then you You've just, just pick picked up, up an item. To find out what that item is, click the question mark icon. In order to confirm an inquired item, you must open the inventory window. Click on the bag shape icon on the bottom right screen to open the inventory. Okay, so what do I need to do? Click on the bag. <coughs> what? Well, I have no idea what it's asking me to do. I don't see anything here that I need. Let's close that again, whatever. Am I finished? You've cleared out all the husk crawlers, it's time to walk back to Shannon to see if you've passed her little test. Basically, I kinda wanna get out of the starting area to show you guys more of them game itself. Okay, how do I speak to Shannon? Oh. So how do I get out of this place? It's telling me to go this way, but it's not really telling me how to get out of here. What? This is weird. How did I get in here? It kind of teleported me in here, didn't it? Strange. I mean, yes. Okay, I'm a bit confused now because it teleported me in here. It's tele. Oh, it's in this bit here. No? What's that? <coughs> Can I just, like, click on here or something? How the hell do I get out of this little area here? It, didn't ex it hasn't explained to me at all. And the control system is still annoying the hell out of me. I, was, I talked to him, but he, he, didn't, he just said go speak to Shannon. But he didn't explain how to get out of here, which I still don't know how to do. Like, I'm clicking on you. He just says now speak to Shannon. So how do I get out of here? This is so bizarre. Is it over this way? I see something over here. Is it... Do I just go this way? Is it gonna... No? That's just flowers or something. Wow, this is annoying. Me. How the freak do I get... What are those blue things I'm picking up? Is, it, is this a door? There's no doors. I can't see any doors. It's just, it spawned me in here and now it's not obvious how I get out. Awesome. Serious? Is it this guy here? Can I talk to this person? Oh, goodness. oh, here we go. There you go. Okay, sweet. Okay, so now I need to go this way again. Wow. Let's zoom out a bit. Yeah, so I think that it looks like that the lag is only in this area just because uh, there were so many people in the starting area. But like I said, I really don't like the control system. It's annoying the hell out of me already. I'm trying to like follow a simple path and it's just, it's not easy. You should be able to use regular keys. 
like I said, hopefully there will be a way to override and use the WASD keys, but I just need to figure it out. So I need to return to Shannon. There's loads of people in this area, so it's kind of annoying. Tell me about Sulphur's no quest. Did you learn a lot from Vayne? Fight off the hordes of scarecrows, travel to any exotic underground locations. Ha ha ha. You need to learn from the field, do not learn anything here. I can use shots now, that's pretty cool. Good, then you did learn something. Bumps and spirit shot, soul shot, are critically important. Maybe I underestimated Vayne. Okay, so now can I get a quest then? Finding Magister Gallant. Okay, we're back already, hmm? Good. I hear you're strong and resilient, but are lacking somewhat in technical skills. Flair will bedazzle your opponents. Can you teach me? Can I know? I know who can. I'll introduce you to a teacher if you're willing to learn. Okay, so I need to go find this guy to teach me something else. So we're still in like a starting area in tutorial. saying that they're going to sell gold, but there's not that many people really talking. Like I asked the question and I don't see anyone answering it. I see loads of spamming. I see loads of spamming and stuff. Like gold and stuff. Okay. I'm trying to talk about quests. Okay, you can check the skills you have by opening the skill window. Skills are split into active and passive skills. There are many skills depending on the class. If you want to learn the skill, go to the Learn Skill tab in the skill window. Then click the skill you want to learn. Okay. Vitality points are not consumed. Okay. Is that something I can drag? No, that's weird. Learn skill. Okay, so can I learn a skill yet? Yeah. Armor mastery increases. Weapon mastery. Can I learn that? Yes, I can. Armor mastery. Can I learn that? Yes, I can. Power strike. Can I learn that? Yes, I can. What's relax? Okay. Seems like I'm learning quite a lot of skills here. Drag that to the bar? Yes, it is. Let's get rid of that one. So I've got what? Power strike, pick up, don't need that. Let's put that over this side, I don't really need that. Healing stuff, soul shocks. Yeah. What? I kind of need the soul shock though. Axe. Okay, passive. So I, I'm assuming when it says 
passive, it can't be dragged. Okay. I see that. Okay, cool. So I've kind of picked up a few little skills here. Awesome. Is that enough? Is he going to give me anything else to do? Searching for new power. I guess I can take a few minutes to help you. Tell me, have you seen your race master? Find out the specialities of your class. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Administration office. Whoops. I don't think we need to do that. Ah. Is it in this building? I'm assuming it's in this building. Seems to be lots of people sitting around trying to sell stuff. Okay. Ah, here we go, this is who I need to talk to. Is it? Yes. Welcome, Warrior Flame. I am Hurst, the Orc Race Trainer. Listen up, I'll explain the characteristics and skills of Orc Race classes to you. Orc fighters are fast and good physical and manner healings, making long battles possible, even though an Orc Mystic uses magic. The class also has one ability. So we are Orcs after all. When your abilities improve, and you will have new skills that you can learn. The skill window will automatically appear. You can check the list of skills. Yes, okay. So, is that it? Quest. Ah, oh, so I need to go back now. There's a lot of kind of running about in the starter area just to hear stuff like that. Like I said, I'll try to work out this stuff like after the video is finished. I don't want to spend time on the video sorting out stuff like the controls, you know. Hey, so I'm going back to this pantheon. Move. Move to museum. Okay. I'm still not sure what I'm doing here. What? Learn skill. Okay, so I can learn a new skill that says active, passive, learn skill. Iron punch. Oh, I could level up the power strike. Master. 
Iron Punch. Level up. Turn again. So let's put this one. I've already got that one. Iron Punch. Why is that not something I can... Oh, wait. Let me put it on the bar thing anyway. Right. So what am I doing? Galleon has a message for the Panther on his archer division. The Panther can be found in the museum in the top. Ah, Panther. Okay, let's close the quest. Ah, so it's kind of telling me where to go, I think. Is it? Over there? How do I go over there? Wow. I am not sure what I'm doing. I'm very confused. They're telling me to go over there for some reason. But I just see this person that this is. Uh, 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 this guy's no use to me. So where how do I get to the guy? Did I go the wrong way or something? Because I don't know what I'm doing. Is this some kind of a teleport, or do I go over here? So maybe I do, I don't know. Dr. Jenkins, I hate the control method. No? Wow, I'm really confused. It's said the Pantheon are in here, but I can't see anyone that's a Pantheon. The control method is just annoying me. So do I just get the hell out of here then? Because I don't know how to do it. Like, it's telling me to go somewhere that I don't know how to go. And I don't know how to get out of this area as well. Maybe I wasn't supposed to come down here. Return to the lobby. Okay. It's Pantheon. What? I think I did something wrong there, didn't I? Oh yeah, okay. I did something wrong. Sorry about that. <laughs> So I need to go in the museum and find something. So that's why I failed. Because <laughs> I didn't realise. I went in there early. This, there's a book called War of Gods and Giants. Okay, War Giants are telling me where to go. Now I just need to find the books. Ah, so... You just basically click on a desk and it will tell you if the book is there. Don't try another desk. Okay. being attacked. Wow. Okay. Wait, turn around. Okay, so I killed them. Just 
us. Where's my health, by the way? Health bar. Oh, it's up the top there, so I still have got reasonable health. So now, I, uh, so now I assume I need to go back to that guy. So, return to the lobby. Pantheon. Talk to Pantheon. Quest. Give him the book. What the thieves are getting more thrashed by the day, and so I wonder if the books are ready to join us. Remember, you can wear up to two earrings at a time. Purchase more from the general merchant if you wish. Did he just give me a ring? I think he did. Oh yes, cool. Let's wear these earrings. Apprentice earrings. else for me. Quest. Okay. What do I have to do? Destroy something. Okay. Here it is. Now how are we to... Okay, so I need to go and basically get a fragment or something. Kill some people. Lag issue seems to have improved. The game is not as laggy now that I have kind of got past the, the very first part of the game. It doesn't seem to be laggy anymore. I was really worried when I first logged into the game. It appeared that it would be very hard to play the game with that amount of lag. But now the lag seems to have gone. It seems a lot better, you know. I'm kind of gradually starting to get used to the control system. Okay, it's good here. I kind of want to get out of the starting area if I can. Am I going the right way here? Is it this person? Guy, Flame Lord, Lord Kai Kai. Mm -hmm. oh, good idea, it's sitting probably to the I think, I don't know what happened there, but I just gave him something. Listen to information about second class transfer. To change profession means that you have attained a certain degree of ability and experience and may be promoted to a higher profession. All fighters can change profession to an Orc Raider or Monk. Orc Raider, what's this? Orc Raiders are, are superb warriors who fight powerfully with weapons. They rely on their pure power and skill to win, not on tactical. Tricks. Orc Raiders are the most consistent fighters on the battle. Blah blah blah. The most skillful Orc Raiders are later selected as destroyers. Okay, yeah, I think I would go with the Orc, Orc Raider. Monks are priests who devote themselves to the part of flame. Unlike Orc Raiders, they do not rely on swords or large weapons, but they use their own bodies as weapons. Okay, so it's basically saying that later on I can choose a different path. He, was, he had more information, didn't he? Let's have a look. Listen to him. Asked about the current situation. Clan. Clan. Create new clan. Incre ah, right. So I can make a clan from here. Okay, interesting. Oh. Alliance. What's this? Create an alliance. I don't have no idea what that is. Quest. Backup seekers. Young one, I've been watching you for some time. You're powerful and good. Yes, you've got a true heart of flame. Would you like to apply that flame? 
the evil fragments continue to spread, it's beginning to be a toss up whether we're doing our clergy or parasite control over the ruins. I'd love to send over some reinforcements, but we've had a rash of monster attacks in the village. Okay, so I need to help out killing some kind of monsters or something. Let's see how this goes. Okay, turn around. There's a lot of players in the game. I mean, it's a free game, it's a truly free game, so you can imagine there's going to be a lot of people in this game. Yeah. Thank you. No, I have to go around. I thought I could go through there, but I can't. Oh, so I, I think I'm going to be heading out of town for the first time. I mean, the graphics in this game are not as good as I am, but yeah, and also I do like the controls in Ion, they're more like regular kind of controls, WASD, but at the moment there's a lot more players in here, so obviously uh, at the moment this game is very, very popular because it's free to play, so when Ion becomes free to play, maybe a lot of people transfer from this game over to Ion. Maybe. Okay. And over this way. The graphics are kind of good, but they're not amazing. Uh, but they are definitely nicer than like the World of Warcraft kind of graphics, which I find very cartoony. I'm not a big fan of those, really. Quests. Why are you looking at Learn more by clicking the question mark icon. From now on, you'll be you will be penalized for dying. Okay, thanks for that. So, do I need to talk to him again? Wow, look at that! That's coming cool out. Okay. So far I've not done a lot of killing things, I've just done a lot of kind of, you know, I have not done a lot of killing things, I've just done a lot of running about. Which I suppose is fair enough. Okay, I think that I'm going to stop here because otherwise this video is going to become very long. So you basically see me do the very start of the game and I will, I will have another video hopefully in a few days which will be carrying on this, this playthrough of the game. I obviously won't be playing through the whole game but I just want to maybe have another half hour video that will show you some of the early quests. So thank you for watching and uh, Hopefully I'll see you, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.